Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to install Doom's request onto your Oculus Quest device. If you quest one, quest two, I've got a quest two, but we potentially a future quest device as well. And this is on Mac. I've got a separate video covering this on Windows, and I'll have a separate video covering this on Linux as well. So, on Mac, it's a bit more complex than if you were to do it on Windows. So, there's just a little bit of extra that you need to do. So first of all, you obviously need a quest. In the Mac, you will need side quest setup, which will allow us to basically, let me just relaunch it up. This will let us connect our device to the Mac and side load application to the particular application you need called Doom Free Quest. The other thing is you need to own a copy of Doom Free. I have it on Steam and that's where the issue comes when you're on sorry when you're on mac it's not you can't install it because it's you know not for not available for mac so you have to do this sort of hacky way of installing it you can't play it on your mac but it allows you to get some files that you need for the quest so this video is not condoning piracy i legally own doom free however you obtain doom free is up to you and um, but if you do have it via another method uh, I think the DVD will work as well as the old school version. I think that will should be okay as well. So you need Doom Free, you need a Quest, and you need a Mac and side quest setup. I'll have my Oculus Quest tutorial series, the playlist, in the description where you can see all the set of videos for side quests and a bunch of other stuff. So I'll go you covered there as well. So first of all, what you want to do is open up side quest and you want to connect up this Ooh. so I've connected this up it says unauthorized allowing headset if it says that whack your headset on obviously certain guardians that need to be set allow USB debugging allow access to data and then you'll say allow USB debugging again most likely click allow and you should be good to go it should go green any moment now and there we go we're all good so now what you want to do is search for doom free quest right here click install to headset and if we go here it does not take long to download and install it's going to take a matter of seconds obviously it depends on your internet speed uh, this mine is on uh, I've got some error. Let's retry the failed ones. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to unplug and then replug the quest in again. Let's close down side quest and relaunch it. Okay, so. Unauthorized allow in headset. Come on, let's have a look at this. Still trying to detect it. So, let me go allow you speed debugging again and allow. Here we go. Okay, so it's back here. Let me search for Doom Free Quest again. Well, it's already there, so I'll just click install to headset. Hopefully, we don't get any issues this time with it. I don't know what happened last time. Yeah, it stopped at like 78% last time. Installing the APK. That's all done. I don't know what happened last time. Okay, so what we need to do now is launch up Doom Free Quest. It will crash because we don't have the files, the assets required from Doom Free. But launching it up creates a folder on your on your Oculus device. So if we go here, we'll you'll create a folder called Doom Free Quest, and that's where we'll put our asset files. So we'll leave this open for now. That's all good. I want to open up Edge. This is you don't need this. I've opened it up simply so I can cast over my Oculus device, having issues of casting it on to, you know, what's it called, onto Chrome. 
So let me just you know, cast this over, cast browser. Controllers is in the Guardian. There we go. Okay, so click next, and you should see the screen momentarily. There you go. Okay, so from here, you want to go to your apps and go to this drop down, go all the way to the bottom, go to unknown sources, and select Doom Request. You might have to scroll down potentially, depending on what else you've installed. I clicked that and it didn't actually, you know, launch, but it did. It failed, it crashed. That's what we want at this stage. So now, if I'll just minimize this, if I go over to here, and if we go back to the home and we go back to this man father in the headset, there we go. We got the Doom Free Quest folder. And in base, we need to copy over a bunch of PK4 files. So this is where you would use your installed version of Doom Free, however you've installed it. So for me, I'll do it via Steam. But, but let me show you. And let me launch up Steam. It's launching up. And if I go to like library, Doom, we want doom and i've got it installed because or you can stream it but that don't help but i've got it installed because i've used this sort of hacky way of doing it first of all you want to close steam first so close steam and i will provide a link to this website and this website which is the official pages so on here you want to copy this bit of code copy that open up terminal you can just press command say space type in terminal and launch it up and right click paste enter and now if you was to launch up steam if you was to launch it up and you go to downloading it will appear right here as downloading. So obviously I've already got it. So I want to cancel it. I'll just pause it. I'll ignore that. And I'll get rid of that as well. There's an update required. But that, that, well, that's just because you know, I've reforced the download. And what you would have is it installed. And to actually access it now. Because we need to access the files. We can close down Steam. Close it down permanently. We would need to, before I do that, let me open up documents and ignore this for now. I was going to just do that. If you copy that, paste it into terminal, what this does is it copies over the Doom Free folder from your Steam directory, which is a little hard to access if you're not doing, you're not showing hidden directories. And it copies it over to here. The reason I renamed it, it, it copies it over to documents. Sorry. The reason I renamed what I already had there, because I had restarted the installation and I knew so I've just restarted the installation and stopped it, you're not going to get any of the files. What yours will actually look like is this. So if I just get rid of this, again, yours won't, you know, this won't happen with yours once you've fully installed Doom Free. You'll get this, go to base, and now you need to copy over these four pk4 files and these nine pk4 files so the game pk4 files and the pack pk4 files so just select them one by one or multi-select however you want and now if you go to side quest and make sure again you are in the oculus folder go to doom free quest base and now you simply copy this over like so go here it'll tell you the progress there's i think four particularly large files it's four or five particularly large files they're the ones that are, that are actually going to show the others will just you know complete really quickly because they're megabytes if that for some of them so go to doom for request base as you can see we got the yeah the four pk4 files they were all small the pack files 
where some of them were pretty big that's what took the time so that is it i can close this down now you have set this up successfully you are all ready to go and what we'll do now we'll close down terminal like i said i will provide a link to this in the description so feel free to check that out and if i launch up my ed browser and i i can actually even disconnect this don't need this anymore and let me show you doom 3 quest on the oculus quest working via the mac or installed via the mac because this is standalone okay so again you would just go to apps you would go to unknown sources doom 3 quest but this time as you can see it hasn't crashed yet actually one second let me i believe i'm not casting <laughs> uh sorry my bad my bad indeed it happens cast i won't put the volume on for the game okay so you should be able to see what i'm seeing now so if you go to apps and remember if you see this default area it doesn't show in all you have to go down to unknown sources doom free quest and as you'll see it hasn't crashed now and we'll get to the doom free menu i just readjusted with the button on my right controller and using the right controller we can orient the cursor so in options there's nothing there there's a bunch of stuff in vr options so feel free to check them out feel free to experiment the performance enhancements as well and it tells you if you're on quest one or two what are the recommended settings based on you know what sort of performance you want you can change the hood you could change the controls as well i'm leaving it as default let's go to new game let's go to the marine and here we go we're gonna play doom free on the oculus quest fully installed on here no tethering or connection to our pc anymore this is absolutely fantastic you can skip stuff with the you know menu button on your left controller let's skip it again and that's also the pause button and you can move around with your left and the analog stick on the left controller turn around with the analog stick on the right controller and there we go you can run around with the you can run around with the trigger here we go so as you can see we are walking around we are doing stuff hello sir how are you would you like to shake my hand no i guess not uh, we are playing doom free this is pretty insane so as when you get to something that's interactable so he says right there when you approach an interactive computer interface your weapon if equipped will lower and you can use the fire button to interact with the computer so as you can see i can just Just, you know, click on stuff like so. It's a bit awkward because I'm sitting down. Oh, this is insane. I mean, this is great because, you know, these games weren't made for VR. Uh, yes, they've been ported. You've got Half-Life. I've created separate videos of that. Feel free to check them out. But they weren't created for vr so this gives a huge potential for games to be ported obviously it helps that these games the source code is available and you know they can you know, mess around with us stuff but uh, hopefully big developers do this with the existing game and then just sell it for like 20 30 quid you know people will buy it not make their money back and then some for some of the games imagine trying to get crisis in vr <laughs> Okay, but that is it. I'm gonna, you know, just pause it, and then I'll just exit the game. Click yes. Okay, so that is it. That is how you. I can close this down now. That is how you install Doom Free Quest, which allows you to play Doom Free on your Oculus Quest One or Two, or even newer devices using a Mac. It's a little different. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message either in the description or 
better yet in the description not in the description in the comments but better yet in the description i'll have a link to the discord group which has over i think like 1300 members right now there's always like 5200 members online there's always people helping each other so that's the best way but feel free to comment and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video